Alright guys, so let's go ahead and let's bring in our character. Um, before we do that, I have a download for you, so go ahead and download that. It'll be a strip that we use for our walk animation. I'll show you more on that, but let's uh, double click. And we're going to bring in our sprite. And you can name yours whatever you want to, really. Um, my name mine. My guy's name is John. So let's insert him right here. And now let's go to your OPP file and go to sprites, go to humans, and we want to go to traveler. So you can name him traveler if you want to. And we're going to bring in the idle animation, which is just him standing like this. Let's come up here and let's rename it idle. Okay. There we go. That's our first animation. It's just going to stand like that. And let's add one. Now then, let's rename this one walk. And let's add an animation. Let's rename this one jump. And walk. So walk, you're going to bring in the file that uh, that I I let you guys download. So go to your downloads, and it's going to be this one right here. So you can double click on it and look at it. So sometimes when you when you find these, what you'll find, and this is how this was set up before. I, don't, I think it actually had green behind it, and it was a much larger picture that had multiple animations on it. And so I had to cut it out, and then I had to adjust the background. Oh, I took it away. And that's important to know because you might find art or if you export art sometimes you might end up having it like that. This already has tools built in for you to come in and edit and uh, get your animations ready to go. So, but we're not going to have it set up like this. We're actually going to right click down here and we're going to import from strip. And so we're going to bring this strip in and it's seven tiles and or cells and then I'm gonna replace the whole animation just because I've got that one down there so we'll go ahead and do that and it doesn't come in perfect but we can fix this little tiny blemish on these two and then for now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to crop so if, the, if you do alt C you'll be able to crop all of them very easily all right, and then let's click over here on the animation itself. Let's just, we don't have to loop it because we'll be holding down a button to trigger it. And let's increase the speed. Let's go by eight. And now let's go to jump. So right click, and then this time we're just going to import frames. So come back to your downloads. I'm mean not downloads. Go into your OPP assets, and then your sprites, and get back to your traveler. And so over here, we're going to start with this guy. Oh, shift on him. And then let's grab all three of those. And then we want to duplicate him and him. And then we're going to get rid of him. And let us jump. All right, I think that's all fine for now. Okay. Now then, if we were to do anything with our guy, he wouldn't... If we were to hit play right now, he would just kind of stand there. We wouldn't be able to move him or do anything because there's nothing tied to him right now. He's just kind of sitting there. So we need to add some behaviors. So let's go over to John and or whatever you have named you guys. And let's edit behaviors. I'm going to add solid. Let's make him solid so that he'll be able to interact with things. Let's not bound him to the layout. We want him to be able to fall off. Let's actually make it, let's see, let's destroy outside of the layout. So when he falls, he's destroyed. He doesn't keep falling and wasting PC power. Uh, let's add the platform. Now that's an important one. And then let's do scroll two, and that's gonna make it where the camera follows him. Okay, another important thing I've already added, come over here to your tile map, and you want it, the objects that you want him to be able to interact with, you wanna go ahead and you want to edit that behavior, and you wanna add it, and you wanna make them solid, which I've already added. Okay, so what do we have now? So when you add the platform, you can go ahead and use the arrow keys on your keyboard, and there you go. No double jump yet, and he sits a little goofy. We might have to fix that. Let's see how he's sitting and why he's sitting right there. 
Do I need to go into you? And let's see. Okay. Let's crop them. Okay, and we can add double jump to them by, when we clicked on them, over here, click double jump. And now let's start working with some of the... So, if you're, you're some of the events. So let's, if your event sheet's not already pulled up, you can double click on it over here at Game Event Sheet. And then we're going to, you can click Add Event, you can double click, or you can right click to Add Event. Um, Let's go with oh, when key is down, and we're going to when the right arrow is down, and then set animation. And if you just back click right there, you should be able to pull up all of your animations. We can go walk, and then done. And then we're going to add, let's just add an action, and we're going to go with mirrored and we're gonna say not mirrored because we're gonna actually have to add in going the opposite way going to the left which we'll do right now come down key is down and we want to go when the left arrow is down that our main guy here and set animation to walk and this time we're going to obviously make the mirrored mirrored and then let's add an event let's add let's make sure that this guy is on the floor and doing a few things like being idle so let's add another condition when he's not moving is moving so we can come in here we can click is moving and we're going to go and we're going to invert that. So this is all going to be connected to the animation, oh, the idle animation. It's done. So when he is on the floor and not moving, that should be the one. And then with these ones, we're going to add a condition that says that he is moving in order for those to, uh, to start acting. And we'll make sure that works. I have to fix the idle from being on top like it is. wonder why that is that way. It wasn't like that when I did it last time. What did I do with you, hmm? Aha. Now why it was set up like that, I'm not I'm not sure. But we'll go ahead and fix it some. We're gonna have the base down here. Yep. And we'll fix all of that in a little bit. That'll be the next video will be how to fix all of that actually. So let's see how he does now. Let's see if that works a little bit better. Cool. Now we need to add the jump. So let's come to our event sheet. And let's add when... Let's see. Is jumping. And let's set animation to... Jump. And let's add some conditions and make sure we're not going to have any weird stuff, although you can add weird stuff by adding conditions. Let's see. Um, it's on the floor, and then let's go ahead and invert that. Let's see if that works. Those are good.
Cool. Okay, I think we need to... Is moving. We need to add an is on the floor on both of these. Because I saw my guy doing it in the air. Okay. Awesome, guys. So there we go. Now then we're going to have to do... Oh, we don't have to do the mirror jump. If you're holding down the left, it'll it'll mirror it. That's pretty cool, guys. There we go. That's all I had to do. Very easy to set up. And play around with that. Next time we will uh, we will work with our collusion. I'll show you guys what, what I'm talking about. We will be working with what I had to adjust on my idle character, all of these, which you can do all kinds of stuff with. But go ahead and get your guys' animation set up, everybody, and uh, enjoy jumping around. And then we will um, we'll be adding in enemies and collusion and more events and get this uh, into a full game. <laughs>